Thanks so much for joining us for another edition of our Open Mic Program. We do have the Combat Veterans Association Motorcycle Association group with us right now, and we do have Bill Rhino Morton. I love these nicknames, and also Tony Piney. He's the commander, and his nickname is Spook, guys, and I appreciate you taking time and talking with us. Man, we're glad to be here. Yeah, it, thanks for having us, it, Bob. It's awesome. You know, when I do have a nickname, they call me Bobby. If you call me Bobby, you know you went to high school with me, so that's my nickname, I guess. You're so. qualified. <laughs> You're qualified. All right, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. well, another thing they used to say, my grandmother always said that you, Bobby, was a, a vaccinated with a phonograph needle because I talk so much but, but, <laughs> but you know guys you guys have got one of the most awesome projects that you do I mean this is something that I really excited and when we talked with you two years ago at Spring Fest at the park which that's coming up this weekend you got the big uh, ride that's gonna be going on it's a poker run for everybody but what's great about your organization anybody that's got a motorcycle they want to help veterans this is the weekend to do it this yeah. is the weekend to do it um, right down out of Heber and the, the nicest thing about this event is because Heber is like home to everybody. And Spook knows everything. I just stir the pot. Spook knows it all. <laughs> well, and it is cool because a poker run is something about the combat veterans. And that's something that you guys are all about. You are combat veterans. And that's a little bit different than just the veterans. These are guys that were in actual combat that is part of the association. That's correct. And we're a nationwide organization. And we have a, a chapter that's up here in the Tumbling Shoals, Heber Springs area. And what we do is give you a little bit of background about it. It's like you said, we're all combat vets and we're all motorcycle riders. And we collectively got together to kind of help each other out because combat vets have some issues. And, you know, we ride motorcycles. And then it actually ballooned out and we started helping other veterans in the community. And, and the only way that we can really help the veterans is to get monetary donations. And this event that we're having on the 11th and 12th of June is to get donations from the public to help those local veterans. Okay, now you'll be at Spring Park on this Friday, uh, and then also, which is tomorrow, and then you'll be on Saturday as well. Yes. And now the poker run is happening on Saturday only, correct? Correct. correct. Okay, so and if you're a veteran or a combat veteran, know nothing about this, you don't have to have a motorcycle to be part of you, Gripes, right? Correct, and you don't even have to be a veteran. To, okay. To, to participate into our, our event. And we've got other things besides the, the poker run going on. We've got some other individuals in our chapter who are very talented. Well, we've got some uh, people that have All-American Custom Vinyl. They're going to actually make some items that you can actually purchase from them. We also have an individual who makes reefs, handmade beautiful reefs, that we're having a, a drawing for. And that's to earn money once again. And one of the best things about this is that we are recognized by the IRS as a nonprofit organization. So any donations that go to us will provide individuals with tax-deductible paperwork so they can take it off their taxes next year. So it's a win-win situation in that, A, you're helping the local veterans, but you're also getting a tax-deductible break. Okay, so this is the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association Poker Run Spring Fest. going to happen on Saturday. Tell us about how this all works, this the poker run. Well, it's a little different than others, and I love it. Yeah, well, once again, the poker runs, and people are associated, they're familiar with it, and you go to these different spots, and you like to drive around or ride your bike, and each place you go, you would pick up a card from a random deck, and then when you got done, if you're familiar with poker, whoever had the best hand, four of a kind, full house, or something like that would win. We did a little bit different this year in that we're going to have five different spots that you stop at, and when you register, we're going to give you a map where they're at, and we'll have a bag with uh, three different color poker chips in there, red, white, and blue, our favorite colors. Yeah, you love it. And then we'll have another chip in there, a special chip. It's a little different color. On our flyer, it says gold, but it's actually a black poker chip. And we'll have one at each stop of the black chip, and if you pull that out, you get a prize when you come back. Now, the red, white, and blue ones, when you pull a chip out, We'll go ahead and mark down. We'll have somebody there mark down what color you, you picked out, and then you go to the next stop. When you get done, it'll show the five different stops you had and the different color chips that you obtained. Now, we're going to associate a value, a number, with each one of those chips. So one of them is going to be worth 30 points. One's going to be worth 20 points. One will be worth 10 points. But nobody knows what those points are until everything's said and done, and we're going to randomly pick them out afterwards. So everybody's in the same ballpark you know, throughout the entire event so they get done. Unlike a regular poker run, let's say the first couple of places you stop, you get a two and a five, you're like, well, I'm done with, I can't yeah, do anything. Loser, loser. Yeah, this one, you're in the game the whole time. So at the end of it, we're going to see what those points are worth, and whoever has the most points, we're just going to win a prize, actually. And we have a pretty good prize, but I don't want to talk about it right now, but it's pretty good value. But we also have a low 
point prize. So whoever has the lowest points will also get a prize no, as well. There you go. See, <laughs> so, so we want to keep everybody involved with it. But we're also, which is really neat too, is that if you pay, the, we have twenty dollars is what the fee is to get into the into the uh, poker chip run. And once again, that is tax deductible. And we've got limited supplies. But if you sign up, we're going to give you a, a food voucher. And we've got somebody else who's also a vet that's going to have their food truck up there, and they do barbecue. You take that voucher over them, you get a free plate lunch. So you're going to be donating to the local vets, which is tax deductible. And while supplies last, you're going to get a meal. Oh, that's awesome. Man, that's something. That's something. That's awesome. Well, you know, this is something I think it, it means a lot to a lot of veterans, especially the combat veterans, to be part of your association. How can they join or find out more about this? Easy. Just come Friday or Saturday, you're going to have a booth Absolutely. at Spring Park. Absolutely. Sure. Also, there's a national website they can go to, which is the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. And you can actually look at the website and, and kind of see what we do. And it has, you know, pictures on there. And this is a national organization, not just here in Arkansas. But to give you a little bit of background, our chapter is called 7-8. 7 is specifically for Arkansas. So we're here with a 7th state in the union to become part of this association and eight is the number eight chapter so out of there's eight chapters in arkansas and we're number eight that's fantastic we're the youngest spring uh, fest is going to be going on spring park this coming friday and saturday you guys will be there at the booth both days the poker run the uh, coming in registration begins at 8 30 at spring park correct correct and then uh, last the registration at 9 30 so and we encourage anyone who's got a bike they may be a part of this. They just any, you don't have to be a veteran either. No, just no, let's anybody. let's challenge them just to come and help this. And actually, I was going to say real quick, you don't even have to have a bike or a car. Let's say you come in there and you want to participate and you want to uh, be part of this poker chip run. We'll let you draw all five chips out at the booth right there, one at a time, so you can still participate, still Great. make the deduction, and and still make that investment in the vets in the local area without having to go around. Okay, it's a challenge to all of our listeners. Let's help the vets this weekend, Spring Park. Uh, it's Spring Fest, Friday and Saturday. We appreciate you guys taking time and talking with us. I love the I love the nicknames, Rhino, Spook, and Bobby. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, there Bobby. There you go. Thank we you, Bobby. It. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Talk to you soon. You bet.